The Three Little Pigs, retold by award-winning author Patricia Siebert, illustrated by Horacio Elena. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. They were curious little pigs and eager to learn more about the big, wide world. One bright summer morning, they packed their bags and set off together. The three little pigs enjoyed being out on their own. On many a sunny day, they shared a picnic with all their new friends. Sometimes they played hide-and-seek all morning and then took a nap in the shade during the hot afternoon. The long summer days grew shorter. Many of the pigs' friends had started to prepare for the colder days ahead. The little pigs realized they needed a house that would be warm and safe, just like the one they had left. I have an idea, said one of the pigs. We can each build our own house. Then we could have fun visiting each other. The first little pig was excited. I want to build my house as fast as I can, he thought. He grabbed the first thing he saw, some straw from a nearby field, and set to work. He did not spend much time planning his new straw house. Instead, he started building right away. After a short time, the house was finished. The pig wiped his brow with satisfaction. But the other two pigs had doubts about the house made of straw. Maybe it's not strong enough, one of them said. The second little pig thought, what can I use that will be better than straw? He gathered up the strongest, straightest sticks he could find. He lashed some of the sticks together and built a frame. Then he tied sticks to the frame to make walls. Finally, the second little pig wiped his brow with satisfaction. A job well done, he thought. Meanwhile, the third pig remarked, It's very nice, but I don't think it's strong enough. So the third little pig searched everywhere. What can I find that will be better than sticks, he wondered. He came across a tumble-down building. There were old bricks all around. He decided they would be just right for his house. The third little pig set to work. Brick by brick, his house took shape. It took a long time, but the pig finished his sturdy house. He wiped his brow, quite satisfied with his handiwork. The two other little pigs shook their heads. They were not sure this one little house was worth all the hard work. After each pig had built his own little house, they had time to play. One day, when they were out having fun, they happened to cross some wolf tracks. When the pigs saw that a wolf had been nearby, they all ran home and locked their houses up tight. Soon enough, the wolf appeared at the door of the first little pig's house. The straw house shone golden in the sunshine. Little pig, little pig, let me come in, said the wolf, grinning his big wolf grin. No, cried the first little pig. 
not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in, shouted the wolf. And with an enormous breath, the wolf blew down the house of straw. The first pig ran to the second pig's house. Right after they had closed and locked the door, the wolf appeared. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in, said the wolf. No, cried the pigs, not by the hair of our chinny chin chins. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, shouted the wolf. And with a tremendous breath, the wolf blew down the house of sticks. The two little pigs ran as fast as they could to the brick house. All three little pigs watched from the windows as the wolf approached. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in, demanded the wolf. By now, he was feeling pretty sure of himself. No, shouted all the pigs together. Not by the hair of our chinny chin chins. I'll huff. And I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in, shouted the wolf. But even with a stupendous breath, the wolf could not blow down the house of bricks. The wolf slumped, exhausted, outside the little brick house. After resting a bit, the wolf came up with a new plan. The three little pigs guessed what he might do, so they lit a blazing fire in the fireplace. Just as the pigs had guessed, the wolf climbed down the chimney. Before he could reach the bottom, his tail caught fire. The wolf could not pull himself up and out of that chimney fast enough. He raced away in a panic. The three little pigs stood arm in arm and in front of the sturdy brick house as they watched the wolf disappear into the distance. From that day forward, he was never seen again, and the pigs lived happily ever after.